All right, let's do a little show and tell here on Commando Actions, a game of tactical level combat in World War II by Yaquinto Publications, copyright 1981. This is uh, one of their album games. Taking a look at the back of the box, we have some depictions of some of the counters and a little bit about how the album games features works. Um, we also have the obligatory blurb at the top and uh, we have a list of components. Components. Commando Actions is an album game and comes complete with a mounted 24 by 12 inch game board. The game board represents terrain in North, uh, North Africa, Italy, France, Holland, Norway, or Malaysia, depending upon the scenario being used. Also included are 325 playing pieces, a game rules book for the introductory game, and a rules book containing the more advanced optional rules. <clears throat> optional rules. Two game table cards and a pair of dice. Scale is one hex represents 25 meters, one playing piece represents from 3 to 10 men, or one vehicle, weapon, or building. One turn represents 10 minutes of real time. Number of players, 2 to 4. Average playing time, 1 to 4 hours, depending upon the scenario being used. They rate this as a level 2 complexity. This game falls in the lower end of average war game complexity, being fairly easy to master, but having fairly detailed mechanics. Commando Actions is a tactical level simulation of various historical and non-historical, though typical, engagements between commando and German or Japanese units in the Second World War. A simplified introductory game allows players to experience the game in an easily digestible manner, while an immense number of optional rules gives players the chance to tailor the game to their own personal tastes of complexity and realism. The several scenarios included are of two distinct types, the classic raid and normal small unit uh, firefights and assaults. The varied weapon and unit types include sentries, officers, snipers, rifle, submachine gun, brand gun, machine gun, or yeah, machine gun, mortar, flamethrower, and demolition teams. Shore based naval guns, 88 millimeter and flat guns, tanks and armored cars, trucks and half tracks, mines, barbed wire, buildings, oil depots, dockyard facilities, radar stations, ships, emplacements, and pillboxes. So, um, that's just kind of a brief overview of what the box contains and some of the um, different types of actions and equipment that you can use and play in the game. I'm going to give a brief demonstration here of how the uh, album games series works. Um, this one is a little bit different than some Uquinto games in that they are actually in a, an old, what would be an old, uh, what is it, 72 inch uh, record player type uh, um, folder, I guess is what I'm looking for. But anyway, the thicker ones, the ones that, uh, like this one, have a similar um, format except that they have a larger box inside for holding the game pieces and stuff like that. And what I mean by folder is like it's an old record player folder you would have found back in yonder days, back in the 70s, 60s, early 80s. Um, yeah, the record would actually fit in there with some of the um, uh, additional material like song lyrics. Anyway, you flip that over this just kind of comes out. I got it kind of upside down. So anyway, that kind of peels out. Got that flap, which you would stuck stuck inside the uh, album cover, and then that holds all the game pieces. So what do we have? First thing we have are the two rule books. The one in front here is book one. It's the introductory book. Uh, gives you an overview of the types of counters and playing pieces that you'll encounter. No pun intended. Um, 
and like I say, it gives you your uh, basic uh, understanding of the game board um, and different components found in the game. It has game setup, basic rules of the game, stacking. I think you can stack two units. You can stack unlimited, but I think if you have more than two units in a hex, you take a drastic uh, penalty in combat. We have movement. There's also scatter rules for artillery, fields of fire, dead zones, combat, of course, and combat results for the basic game. Stuff like that, pretty simple, although it's a very unusual game system uh, by today's standards. We have the advanced rules, or optional rules, I guess they call it, booklet. And it covers things like uh, night, sunrise, dummy units, stacking uh, for crews and stuff like that. Uh, a little bit different stacking for your smaller type units. We have more movement rules, optional rules. We have alert status and alarms, sentry units, additional combat unit, uh, combat um, rules. And we have some advanced optional rules. We have aircraft, naval shore batteries and support ships, blind fire, blind fire scatter, evade movement, run movement, voluntary suppression, pin, Parachute drops, passenger vehicles, anti-aircraft units, split fire, opportunity fire, close assault, overrun, recurring unmanned weapons, field craft modifications, officer modifications, unit surrender, smoke, emplacements, flail tanks, and then you have your scenarios. The rule books are in black and white. They are on a matte paper, average thickness. So that pretty much takes care of the rules. We have a chart here, which I'll try to zoom in here a little bit. So I'm gonna do you much good if you can't see it. Uh, let's see. This has optional rule sequence of play on it. Pretty much goes through everything I just talked about. Um, just giving you quick little notations and stuff on the various uh, rules and sequence of play. And, Things like sighting and conducting direct fire, movement, that type of thing. And then on the back we have, get back into focus here, eh, kinda. We have things like uh, ranges of weapons, the weapon categories, units with non-printed fire factors, we have target defense values, the combat results table at the bottom. Yes, it uses a uh, combat uh, odds type system. Figure up all the amount of firepower going into a certain target hex. The defense of the defense is based upon the terrain and conditions in the defense uh, target's hex. And you pretty much form a ratio and uh, roll on the table. See what happens. You got pins, that type of thing, different types of results. Some units have just basic defense values, not just terrain, but like your tanks have a generic defense value, armored cars, half tracks, certain types of buildings. Then you have close assault, procedures on that. Um, with respect to just this player A, of course, it goes into more detail in the rules, but. This kind of just gives you a quick overview of different things. Look at the counters real quick. A little baggy, but I always usually grab my own. <clears throat> Real tiny, 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 tiny. Here, get up here if I can. And try to get them right uh, side up. This is These are some really tiny uh, counters. They're even less than half an inch. They're basically just markers and stuff. And then we have, what do we have here? We have another little counter sheet. Um, which gives you some more, well, if I ever hold these up right side up, there we go. 
Uh, you have some of your officers, some vehicles, anti-tank, anti-aircraft guns, shore guns, and then you got more markers for wire it looks like, or pillboxes, you got some ship counters. One thing, I think it's in the other, yeah it's going to be in the other sheet oil or refinery type uh, targets um, this is this is the one that I find amusing okay where am I at the top here we have and it's upside down too I'm three for three <clears throat> we have the British commando units at the top we got rifles submachine gun demolitions that type of thing the Bruins uh, more officers, and here's some more um, oh, markers and stuff. You'll notice, say right here, this is a scoring uh, for the die cutting. Um, that's great and everything, but some of it comes up into the uh, larger counter. Over here, kind of the same thing, the scoring goes up in the bigger counter, and like here, the scoring from the larger counter, I mean it also goes down into the uh, uh, marker, the uh, smaller markers, so you know, go figure. And then we have what would be the German or Japanese units, depending upon the scenario played. Get your rifles, machine guns, submachine guns. Anyway, other than that, we have the map. The map is um, a generic map that contains all types of terrain and stuff like that. You you know if you don't want to have the scenario doesn't call for the hills. You don't uh, they treat it as clear. You also have what are called basins. This is an area where amphibious operations can happen, or it could be a a dock or something like that. You just you know have to use your imagination. There are also basins down here. We got basin C. I'm not sure we're basin uh, A and B. I guess we have B over here too, along with uh, A. Try to zoom in if I can maintain any kind of uh, focus. But there's buildings, little small village, plus you can add additional buildings. Or if there's no buildings, if it's a desert type scenario, then you just ignore them. I personally don't care much for that because, you know, if I see it, I, I think it's there. But, you know, I have many other games that are like that too, so you think I'd get used to it after a while. <clears throat> but then you've got your hills and woods, that type of thing. And it's all... Let's see if I can get the thing. And it's all um, part of the album, cover sleeve, whatever. Um, so, you know, just fold it up. And there you've got your uh, game map, game pieces, everything right there. Um, I really don't know what Quinto was thinking at the time, but uh, their games sold fairly well in this format, so, you know, whatever. Uh, that's pretty much all I really have to say about the game. Um, haven't played it, obviously. We'll probably go through it, mess around with it a little bit, and we'll go from there. So, anyway, that's uh, Commando Actions by Yaquinto Games, 1981. I think I was... What was I in 1981? Na, 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 na. Uh, yeah, let's see, uh, 18, I think. Something like that, that's a guess. Anyway, um, that's Commando Actions, Game of Tactical Level Combat in World War II. Talk to you later, stay safe.